so now today the topic is voltage division rule so this rule can be applied for a series circuit current division rule will be applied for parallel circuits voltage division rule will be applied for series circuits so let us have a simple circuit okay so r1 r2 and so on rn are connected in series so this is r1 r2 and so on rn so this entire combination is connected with a dc voltage source vs then a current i will circulate through the circuit so since all the elements all the resistors are connected in series the total resistance will be r1 plus r2 plus and so on plus rn okay now let us assume this as v1 voltage across r1 is v1 across r2 is v2 and so on across rn is vn okay so according to ohm's law v equal to what ir is the formula so let us find v1 v1 equal to what i into r1 v2 equal to i into r2 and so on vn that is voltage across nth element is equal to i into r n clear so now all the elements are connected in series no then the total resistance will be r1 plus r2 and so on r n so instead of all those resistors we can replace that with simply r t then the circuit seems to be like this vs and i that's it okay apply ohm's law here okay and find the relation for current i so i is equal to what i is equal to v by r is the formula voltage is vs resistance is rt that's it so we got the relation for i so you substitute this current i relation in any of the equations okay so it seems to be a general term let us use this one okay so this vn is equal to i instead of i what we can write vs by rt so this is vs by rt into r this is voltage division rule how let me explain so i am rearranging this equation so rn by rt okay so in words voltage across nth element is equal to okay so voltage across nth element equal to vs that is supply voltage into at which you are trying to find the voltage at across rn so that particular resistance rn okay so here is the rn divided by total resistance that's it okay so if i want to calculate v1 okay so v1 will be what it will be vs into r1 by r if i want to calculate v2 then it will be vs into r2 by r okay so here you can observe you are not using any kind of current so without current you can actually find the voltages at any element using current voltage division rule clear so this is voltage division rule so voltage division rule will be applied only for series circuits okay so in this way we can apply voltage division rule i hope you understand